we're going to move on to some of these rumors because I know you guys love to talk yeah. about it, love to hear it. Um, we could start off with the Tom Brady rumor, Dion. Obviously, this has kind of been getting stoked around a lot. Uh, recently, Florio, Mike Florio, Pro Football Talk, kind of poked the bear again. I don't know if you saw a couple weeks ago, uh, there was a Boston radio host saying that he's he knows Tom Brady. He's been keeping an eye on the 49ers situation. He knows they have to trade Jimmy Garoppolo once that's done. He basically wants to come home and play for the Niners. He's been wanting to do that since 2019. And then Florio says this on Thursday, uh, quote, I got a great email. I don't know what the person, I don't know that the person wants his name to be shared, but it's explaining what's going on with Tom Brady. It's a classic midlife crisis. Step one, divorce from the Patriots. Step two, a short-term relationship with the trophy girl like the Buccaneers. Step three, a late-night text to the high school sweetheart, a.k.a. the 49ers. I'm telling you right now, it's unavoidable. He's not going to lower himself to have to dirty himself the way Aaron Rodgers is. He's going to work it all all behind the scenes. I just, I think he's going to be with the 49ers week one. I'm rooting for that so badly. What do you think? There's a lot to unpack here but I'm going to make this real easy. I'm going to know on Tom Brady. We have Trey Lance. If Tom Brady was here and he sat behind, you know, and Trey Lance sat behind him initially, yes, if we had chose Brady over Jimmy Garoppolo, yes, I would be perfectly comfortable with him staying here. The other reason, we're going to have to change the offense to tailor what Brady wants to do. He's not going to come in here and learn Kyle Shanahan's system. It's not going to happen. It definitely ain't going to happen overnight. Um, the other thing is there's two quarterbacks that want to come here and play. Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. Both of them are California kids. They both want to play for the Niners. I mean, his hero is Joe freaking Montana. So, yeah, he would love to do that. Do we have a high probability of winning a ring with him? Yes. Brady can galvanize the troops. Brady is a leader. Brady is vocal. And Brady owns his shit. Here's the thing. Um, I I don't like it. I just don't. I can't I can't roll with the Tom Brady thing. Um, like I said, changing the offense to tailor what he wants to do. Then on top of it, sitting Trey for another year. So he has basically three years without playing football. Because, I mean, two games and and a little bit of preseason, that's that's really not much. So while I like the learning aspect from Tom, because you can get a lot of leadership skills from that guy, but I would rather Trey go out there and learn because this isn't the old days where you could sit like Aaron Rodgers did for three years and then basically Brett Favre comes in and they tell him, Kids ready is going to be a competition, and Brett Favre cries, and they trade him fucking Vikings. We're we're not going to do that. I would say go with Trey Lance, start the season, and just completely go ahead and go with it. So here here's my thought. Then we'll get to the super chat from Fernando. Mm-hmm. Um, when I first heard this, when I first heard the Boston radio guy talk about it, I thought, hell yes, this is a ring, all but guaranteed a ring, right? Um, mm-hmm. I thought that the 49ers were dumb to turn him down in 2019 to be 100% certain. I thought it was the right choice at the time. So who am I to say it was dumb? The year we had just seen from Tom Brady in New England was not great. So I thought he was declining. He proved everyone wrong. He proved that he still had it. He arguably should have been the MVP this season. And mm-hmm. looking at the way the team was this season – if they had Tom Brady, I think they win it all. I don't think that's that's a question. I think if you swap Jimmy and Tom, all other circumstances remain the same. The 49ers are sitting at the game right now. But with all that being said, after I sit and think about it, the same things you just talked about, Dion, Trey Lance being three years out of football, uh, having to tailor the offense, basically it's too much to ask. And not only that, but you're going to have to give up a draft pick because he's still under contract. They didn't release him. They just put him on the retired list. And then you're going to have to pay him. Does he come for the vet minimum? I, I I don't know. I doubt it. I don't think he would. And then not only that, but what else is he going to expect? Is that relationship with Kyle Shanahan going to work? Kyle Shanahan's a complete control freak. 
seems like Tom Brady is as well. He wants to have full control of an offense. Kyle Shanahan is not willing to give that up. So I think the 49ers are best right now, and this could very well come back to bite me in a year's time. I think they're best with Trey Lance. I think they're enamored with him. I think that they love what they see, and I think they're right in doing so.